All right, welcome back to Soda City Live. A role of an organization is not only to focus on the moment, but also to look ahead to the future. The Columbia Urban League is an affiliate of the National Urban League, which is an organization that for decades has aimed to support and empower urban residents. And the Columbia Urban League Young Professionals are some volunteers with that group, a volunteer affiliate which aims to take that baton to keep it going with some fresh new ideas and fresh eyes. Joining us today, uh, Columbia Urban League Young Professionals, Eliana Frazier, and also Vice President Tedious Williams. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you oh, thank for having you. us. Yes, thank you. you know, today is not only a day to commemorate, as we mentioned, but also to look ahead to the future. So talk a little bit about what your organization does to make sure that that legacy stays alive. Sure. So we were really, we were established the late 1999, early 2000 um, as an extension, a volunteer extension of the Columbia Urban League. And really it's keeping the memory of a beloved community and whether that be providing innovative measures to provide resources, um, working with schools, being mentors, whatever that relationship is, we wanna be that connector in the community. Yeah, Tedious MLK Day is a time where many people volunteer or yes. they think about how to give back to their community. So important, I think, to instill that in young people especially, and that's exactly what you guys do. Yes, that is correct. So we work with a lot of young people across the city, actually across 14 counties in South Carolina. So um, we always try to influence those uh, young people to volunteer, give back to the community, um, whether it's through the Columbia Urban League Young Professionals or Project Ready, who is with the, also with the Columbia um, Urban League. Talk about who's an ideal candidate to participate in your organization. Are you going primarily to schools to be able to recruit some kids to possibly participate in this? Sure, so it depends on the program. Mm -hmm. So for us as a volunteer subsidiary organization, we extend membership well, it's technically the ages of 21 through 40. However, we extend to create a pipeline. We extend membership to uh, college students as well as individuals over the age of 40. However, there's specific programming, mentoring programming, uh, jobs for college students. So it just depends on the program throughout the year. And they can actually go to the website to find out what program fits them best. Cool. Yeah. Um, and they could see what the criteria would be. Yes. Wow, you know, when you think about just the power of mentorship and having somebody who's been there and maybe has carved out their own way just to be able to to get that type of advice what does that mean to especially to a young professional who's you know just starting out in their career what does it mean to have a trusted voice like that Oh, it's very important um, to have that trusted voice in the community. So uh, we always try to serve as mentors to each other, for one, but also to our communities, those students, those young, um, those graduates that just graduated from college. Um, so we always try to serve as a mentor to them, to coach, guide, connect uh, those people. Yeah, and those connections, I think, can be lifelong. And they, and they really do make all the difference, I think, sometimes. Just knowing a face, knowing a name, somebody in a specific mm -hmm. field, uh, that really goes a long way toward somebody being able to reach their goals. Absolutely. So we are centered on community service. Coupled with that, we provide personal and professional development training. So we actually have individuals who've moved around the country um, to more recently to Massachusetts for careers. Mm -hmm. So it's Yes, we're a local chapter, but we're connected regionally and nationally to help you be your best self professionally and personally. So do you guys have any uh, upcoming events that you want everyone to know about here? Yes, we do. We have Join Week coming up in February, so it's going to run February 5th through February 12th. And we also have our inaugural Golf Classic Tournament that's coming up in May 2023. So we're looking for people to join um, us, to partner with us Golfers. with that. Golfers. Sponsors. <laughs> Sponsors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have that um, inaugural event in May 2023. Okay. And it, it, with different events like these, I'm sure the connections that come out of this are, are just so beneficial for all involved. You know, they come away from something like this with just uh, maybe even a renewed sense of purpose, a sense of meaning as they embark out on their careers. Absolutely, um, but I think it goes both ways yeah. because we meet a lot of professionals who sometimes you're not in the community as mm -hmm. much or as you think, as much as you think you would be. 
And it's really the boots on the ground and that refreshing moment of just connecting with individuals who are committed to the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when you think of just some of the events that you guys have done, are these new events or have you done the Golf Classic in the past? This is our first time. This okay. is our first time. Um, doing the inaugural golf classic yeah huh? so we're excited <laughs> all right well, we have ongoing events throughout the year sure. that we've done in the past sure. join week we do every year however the specific events throughout the week we may switch it up a bit um, but our golf classic is is our first okay yes. so if somebody's uh, potentially thinking about joining how do they go about and do that they can go to our website www.culypsc C.org. All right, very good. We'll have a, a link on our website, yes. and we appreciate you coming by. Thank, thank, you. thank you so you much, and thanks us. for all the work that you're doing with young people in our community. Thank, thank you. you so much. We Chris. appreciate that. All right. Well.